This next song is called S-O-S. That is S-O-S. And it's coming from scriptures Psalm 50 and 15, Psalms 91, 14 through 16, Psalms 145, um, 18 through 20, Isaiah 55, 1 through 3, Isaiah 65 and 2, Jeremiah 33 and 3, Michael 7 and 7, and Isaiah 41 and 13. Again, uh, the song is called S-O-S. And uh, you know, it comes a time when we are uh, in our um, journey, in our life, to where uh, things occur uh, just sometimes just by living. <laughs> we get into precarious situations. We get into some strange situations. We get into some, uh, as some people say, between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> and in this tough spot, some, uh, some uh, situation, it definitely takes the hand of God to get us out of those situations. And, and be it not for the hand of God, um, then we will certainly perish in certain situations. And, um, you know, that just got me thinking about different uh, uh, hardships and troubles and trials and tribulation and, and just being in certain situations that were, if not for God, we'll certainly perish. You know, um, the SOS, you know, uh, some say it comes from the times of, of sailors and, and the ships going down and and to save our ship, save our sailor, you know, uh, it's the, the abbreviation Morse code that uh, that we need help. We need help quickly. We need help desperately. And sometime in life, we can need help desperately. And uh, there are certain scriptures that let us know that when we end those situations, we don't have to be like the world. We don't have to be without hope. But we can send out an SOS for the Lord. <laughs> and I tell you, the blood of Jesus connects us and the Holy Ghost will help us even if we're even if we're beyond the point of being able just to talk or just to be able to ask within the holy ghost can talk through us and 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 let uh god know exactly what we need you know psalm 50 and 15 it says um and this is the niv version it says and call on me in the day of trouble i will deliver you and you will honor me. Amen, amen. So it's good to know that when we're in trouble, that's one that we can reach out to, one that we can call up on, one that is has everything needed to help us. He is the great I am. He is I am that I am. He is Jehovah El Shaddai. He is the God that is more than enough. Better than 911. Better than emergency crew. Better than the crews that, that is on site first when you call 911. Better than the police. Way better than the police. Way better than the emergency uh, first response. God Almighty. We can call 911. We can call uh, and sent out an SOS for our God. And he said that he will help us in the time of trouble. Uh, Psalms uh, 91, 14 and 16. Uh, that is Psalm 91, yeah, 14 through 16. And this is also the NIV version. It said, because he loves me. And, and, and some versions said, because he set his love upon me. But because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. Amen. I will rescue him. I will protect him. For he acknowledged my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. So God is there to save. God is there when we're in trouble. He's letting us know he's going to protect us, that he'll be with us, that he's going to deliver us out of trouble. And God always said, I deliver them out of every every trial, every situation, many out of the afflictions of the righteous. But he said, I will deliver him out of them all. And the Psalms 145, 18 through 20, also NIV version, 
It says, the Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. We love the Lord. We love the Lord. Our heart, we set our love upon him. And because we set our love upon him, he said he watches over us. And the Lord said when we cry, we call out to him, we will call in that SOS. God has promise to hear us. He has promised to deliver us when we sit out that SOS to the Lord. One last scripture, one last scripture. Uh, Psalms 55, uh, not Psalm, but Isaiah 55, 1 through 3. I just love the book of Psalms. I guess Psalms always pops in my head. But Isaiah 55, 1 through 3. So 1, 2, and 3. The first verse, second verse, and third verse of Isaiah 55. It says, um, and this is the invitation that those that are crying out for God, those that are thirsty for the Lord. It said, come all who are thirsty, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread and your labor on what does not satisfy? Listen, listen to me and eat what is good. You will delight in the riches of the riches of Pharaoh. Give it, come to me. Listen that you may live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you, my faithful love promised to David. So God has promised us that when we are thirsty, he said, those that hunger and thirst, we shall be filled. So when we in trouble, when we in need, God said, don't worry about money. Don't worry about credit card. The price has been paid. The price has been paid. When we call out to God, he will hear us because we have set our love upon him because his word is in us. He will hear us and he will answer us. He will satisfy. We will be satisfied. God will give us the things that we need, the things that we desire, and will help us out of every bad situation. He's told us he's working those bad things for the good. So again, the name of this song is Send It Out in S-O-S. When you're in need that something your friends can't do for you, the doctors have given up on you, the doctors have given you a bad report, you can't even reach your friends. Once you thought it was your friends, they're not your friends, and you can't reach anyone, God is saying, call upon me in time of trouble. The blood of Jesus has connected us to that line of God in the Holy Ghost. When we can't say, we can't do, we can even use our prayer language and the Holy Ghost will speak on our behalf on the things that we need. Talking directly to God, a channel directly to God in Jesus' name. Send it out in SOS. I'm sending out an SOS, sending out an SOS, sending out an SOS, sending out an SOS to you, Lord. I'm lying here in my barren place, lying here in my desert place, lying here in my darkened place. I'm sending out an SOS to you, Lord. I'll climb the tree if I need to climb, and climb that mountain to see that burning bush, present my Isaac if I must, I'm sending out an SOS to you, Lord. Although I'm in the furnace heating seven times, in the den with those hungry lions, facing the giant that wants my life, a host of enemies facing me, that's why I'm sending out this SOS to you, Lord. A call for help I sent to you. Emergency, so patch me through. The blood of Jesus has connected me. So Holy Ghost, talk for me as I send out this SOS to the Lord. So are you there in your desperate place and need for help get back in the race? Call on him in troubled time. He's near to all those who call on him. When we call on him in spirit and in truth, 
Give that SOS to the Lord. Send it out your SOS. Send it out your SOS. Send it out that SOS to the Lord. On bending knees or lying prostrate, do it now and don't you wait. Send out your SOS to the Lord. Romans 10, 9 and 10 is the key that lets us in. The blood of Jesus has connected us. The Holy Ghost talked for us as we send out our SOS to the Lord. Before we call, he will answer us. While we speak, he will hear us. One thirsty will thirst no more. Upon us, he will pour his presence more and more. Blessings more and more. Living water more and more. And favor more and more. As we send out our SOS to the Lord. So when it seems all is failing you, and it seems walls are closing in, no escape and cannot win. Remember, he is your friend. So get down on bending knees and send out your SOS to the Lord. I'm sending out my SOS. Send out your SOS. And we'll send out our SOS to the Lord. Yes, sending out our SOS. Sending out our SOS. Sending out our SOS. Sending out that. Sending out that. Sending out that SOS to the Lord.